Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is a question from the Fermat contest, the grade 11 math contest from Waterloo University. And it asks for the perimeter of this quadrilateral, knowing that this side here, Wx, is 6 root 2, and that these are both right angled isosceles triangle. Give it a try, and I'll be right back with the solution. All right, so let's work through this problem. So what we know so far is that this side here, w's, um, Wx is 6 root 2, and that these are both isosceles right angle triangles. So what's an isosceles right angle triangle? Well, let me draw the simplest one for you. Right angle just means 90 degrees, and isosceles means two lengths are the same. And so the simplest isosceles triangle, right angled isosceles triangle, is 1 1 root 2. I just made each side 1, and then the hypotenuse, you can use Pythagorean theorem to figure out it is root 2. Now this triangle is similar to both of these triangles, because they're all right-angled isosceles triangles. So what I can do is, since they're similar triangles, I can compare uh, the ratio of their sides. So let's start by trying to find Wz here. If I compare ratios, let's say Wz, that length, divided by this hypotenuse, 6 root 2, is going to be equal to this length, 1, divided by its hypotenuse, root 2. And then I can solve for Wz by saying it is, just multiply both sides by 6 root 2. And we can simplify to get Wz as 6. So this length here is going to be 6. And since this is isosceles, this length is also going to be 6. And now I can do the same comparison of ratios for lengths to figure out, say, Yx. So Yx over its hypotenuse, 6, is going to equal this length, 1, over its hypotenuse, root 2. And now I can rearrange the solve for yx, which would be 6 over root 2. And I'm going to clean that up, so I'm going to rationalize the denominator there by multiplying by root 2 over root 2, which is just 1, so I'm not changing anything. Okay, But what I get is 6 root 2 over 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3, so we get 3 root 2. So this side is going to be 3 root 2. And because this is also an isosceles triangle, this is also 3 root 2. So now I can figure out what this perimeter is. So the perimeter of this quadrilateral is going to equal 6 root 2 plus 3 root 2 plus another 3 root 2 plus 6, which is approximately equal to 23, or C.